Welcome to the lesson 6.3 in this series of introducing quantum mechanics and in this video series we are actually talking about Dirac notation which is often called as Brian Kett notation and we have divided this concept into three parts lesson 6.1 and 6.2 dealt with the basic introduction part and now we are ready to go into the advanced part which is tensor product or otherwise called density matrix. So if you have not watched the lesson 6.1 and 6.2, please go back and uh, watch those on my playlist in this channel, Physics for Students of Introducing Quantum Mechanics. I have given the entire playlist in this I button and the last video at the last uh, at the end of this video, that is 6.2, because these two lessons are important because these built up the foundation of the Brian Pet notations, shorting the scat, uh, inner product, and a lot of other concepts. My name is Shonak and you are watching this video on my channel Physics for Students. A warm welcome everybody to this advanced part of lesson 6.2, 6.3 where we are talking about tensor product. Okay, so let's, uh, this is quite a short video. So we would be just talking about the, uh, the core part. So you see we have uh, covered the beginner's level, the intermediate level also when we were talking about the wave functions etc. And the third part where we are starting with explaining further concepts of the quantum mechanics. However, there will be other few more videos. This is not the end. So, we are starting with the first part of advanced level. So, primarily we will talk about tensor product. Okay. So, you see that tensor product is generally given by this kind of a sign. Right. So, the bra and ket vectors, I would say the operation creates a kind of a tensor product. For the time being, this is the tensor product. We can omit this sign. We can omit this sign because you see in tensor calculus, those who have done this, is a very common sign using the tensor product. We omit this because it is immediately clear that from the Brian Kett notation that it is not a scalar product, right? So, we will just, uh, the Brian Kett vectors are basically swapped. So, we will just omit this. So, the result of the tensor product is basically this one, which is called a uh, matrix. Or we can call in the case of the tensor product of quantum mechanical states, it is called density matrix or uh, you can call it as density operator also. So, it is a, a tensor product of two quantum mechanical states. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so what we do is that if the state this one is normalized and we form the tensor product as this, then the product is called this product, this one is either called a projector or a projection matrix, right? And you apply, if you apply this projection matrix, this one, over this, this one, uh, uh, to get a ket vector like this, right? You can just imagine a matrix which is applied to a vector and then we get uh, something like this uh, with a new ket vector. As you can see, there's a new ket vector which gives the projection of this onto this, right? And we can find out uh, how much of the state of this, this one, uh, is into this side. So, the phi state, how much of the phi state is into the size state we find. So, what we do is that we get a projection vector or a projection matrix and we get a new cat vector and the projection shows how much of this state is in this state. Okay, now we come to another important application of uh, a projection matrix which is called insertion of identity and we will soon see that what is insertion of identity. So, you see that uh, when we get a kind of a set like this, right? And this is set of vectors, uh, and these forms are basically an orthonormal basis. That is, these ve uh, state vectors are orthogonal to each other, normalized, and they span the Hilbert space in which they live. In, right? So these state vectors are orthogonal to each other. They normalize and they uh, span the Hilbert space in which they live. In. We have just talked about spanning in the earlier video, and also about Hilbert space, so it should not be a problem understanding this. So, the sum of the projection matrices of these basic vectors gives a kind of an n by n unit matrix and this is denoted like by this and we can apply this unit matrix to any state, right, so something like this phi and in, by insertion of identity for a finite basis, we get this and we use this is for the insertion of finite basis and we can apply this to this also. So, you see that insertion of, I, uh, I would say, uh, sorry, the insertion of identity, uh, this is a kind of a, I would say, application of the projection matrix 
and what we just saw that we got a psi i and this is the states of vectors of orthogonal angle we can apply this equals to 1 because it is 1 so the insertion of identity into this one further examples i'm sure we uh, quickly make it clear okay so here this is one uh, and what we get this uh, what what we see from here the scalar product this the the one which is marked in red uh, what it does is that it picks out the ith component of the state this one phi and we can call the ith component for the time being as uh, this one right bar theta i and what we get is this one, right? So we replace that one with bar, bar, bar theta i, and with the trick of this insertion of identity, we are able to represent a state, this one phi, in the basis of this, right? So an infinite dimen infinite dimensional Hilbert space is spanned by infinitely many basis states. Right? So here it is, and with the insertion of the identity, an infinite dimensional Hilbert space. Is spanned by infinitely many basis states. So you see, we picked up the uh, uh, we picked up the scalar product, and this is the i component. We replace the i component by bar theta i, and now using the sigma sign, we just able to represent the state uh, phi in the basis psi one, which we just saw. So we now will apply this trick. I would say this insertion of identity. To what is called an infinite uh, Hilbert space. So we take the same one, and infinite Hilbert space is basically is spanned by infinitely many basis states. So to translate the insertion of this identity equation to an infinite Hilbert space, again we do the same trick that we scale delta x and let it go to zero, and this del, del x turns into what is called an infinite simul interval that is dx. So the del x turns to dx. And the sum sign becomes an integral sign, which is this one. So you see the unit matrix now has infinitely many colors. And we are able to represent the ket vector living in, in an infinite dimensional input space by using this formula. Right. So we what we do is that we scale it, we take the del x to dx, then, then we quickly uh, use the trick of uh, using this. Uh, what we call the identity matrix, the insertion identity matrix, and here we uh, insert, we use the insertion of the identity in the infinite dimension vector space. And what we get is this. So to summarize, what we have learned is that insertion of identity for a finite basis, if we take this finite basis, looks like this, where we are able to represent this cat vector in the basis of this, and insertion of identity finite basis, where we are using the uh, what we call the insertion of the identity here into something like this, where this equals to del, right? And we just saw this. So that's it. A very quick, uh, small video, but uh, it uh, elucidates a lot of usages in terms of tensor product and using the uh, insertion of identity, etc. And I would like to thank you uh, for watching this video and being with me for such a long time. And I would request you to subscribe, click on the subscribe and click on the bell icon to get all the notifications from Physics for Students. I'm also available over email. You can email me and I will also have a channel. I also have a channel which is called General Relativity Explained. And you can, if you want, you can follow me at my Instagram, LinkedIn and Facebook profile. Thank you for watching. And uh, we have few more videos speaking on the bra and cat condition the advanced part which is coming up soon. Till then, goodbye.